Hi love, so here's my detox face and hair recipe. You need bentonite clay, rose water, grapeseed oil, aloe vera juice, and apple cider vinegar. So I forgot to list those items there, but those are the items I use for this recipe. You wanna mix this, determine the needs of your hair and your skin. I chose the grapeseed oil because it isn't high of oleic acid. So I have been doing deep research far as oils to mix on the face or to apply on the face and also the hair so I have did a uh, recipe a moisturizing recipe toner and missing spray for the face and I've been using it for months on end now and I've been loving the results so therefore let's jump into this now right now I'm using the botanic soft and cleansing so you want to apply this to your face you do not need to rinse this off this will help remove all the makeup and you know, lift all the dirt from your face Now removing this cream with a paper towel. Um, this cream does well with removing any type of makeup or any dirt that's built on the face here. And occasionally I like to do a detox for the face and the hair and sometimes even for internal reasons. Um, sometimes I go through a, a detox using uh, nothing but green vegetables or juice. It depends on what, my, what I feel like my body needs. And I also like to do one for the face and the hair and I feel like the perfect time of doing this is through the following ones from us so that's why i'm offering this detox recipe so now i'm just going to separate my hair first preparing it for the clay mixture and then first i'm going to apply this to my face so as you can see this here is a creamy type of texture so i prefer it to be like this so it can be easy to apply to my face and then i'm just going to let it dry and then next i will apply it to my hair Now, I definitely suggest that you dip the hair just a little bit so it can be easy to massage this on your hair. Um, so that's what I did there, I just dumped my hair. I didn't show it in the video, but I did dump my hair. And I'm just smoothing it from roots to ends. So I like to smooth this roots to ends to kind of make the strands a little bit more smooth. And I look like a mommy. <laughs> All right, so continue repeating those steps, massaging into your hair. And then I rinse it out. And I'm using my DIY toner here and I'm applying it to my face. So I might be giving this here away because I've been using these DIY DIY <laughs> DIY products that I've made and I've been using it for a couple of months now and I've been loving the results. It's really been keeping my face looking youthful, moisturized, and any type of pimples or acne scars that I do get, it really tackles that and kind of you know minimize that so i really really love these products and i may be giving those away so stay tuned for that and now i'm lightly misting my face with the spray i made and then i just like to pat that into the skin to have rejuvenate and moisture the skin and now on to my hair so i have a few steps <laughs> i'm just pointing out my curl definition right now so i am separating the hair into four sections as usual and then i'm going to work on one section at a time. Now you need to take some type of moisturizing cream. I'm using the one that I made and I'm scrunching it at the ends of my hair very lightly. And then once that's done, I'm gonna rub it to my fingertips and then I'm gonna massage my scalp. Then after that's done, whatever's left on my hair, I'm just rubbing it throughout my hair. You wanna make sure you massage this cream right into the hair to help, you know, pop the moisture back in your hair, just like if you was gonna, you know, moisturize your body. And then next you want to take a oil this one here i made this as well i'm gonna do the same step that i did with step one i'm scrunching at the ends of my hair then i'm gonna massage it and then whatever's left i'm rubbing it throughout my hair all right once that's done you want to seal this moisture in i'm taking a spray that i made as well and mainly made of water and a few essential oils and i'm spraying it onto my hair locking the moisture in then I'll detangle. So I did the detangling process at the very end here. I find that it's more effective for me to do it this way. And then I'm just twisting this section out the way. In case you missed those steps in the beginning, let's repeat. Take a moisturizing cream, scrunch it at the ends of your head lightly, then massage it on your scalp, then rub it throughout. Take your oil, do the same thing. Scrunch it at the ends of your hair, Massage it through your scalp, then rub it throughout your hair. Once that's done, lock it in with a moisturizing spray, then detangle. 
Continue to repeat these steps until you're done. I find that this way here has been working for me and I find that this will be best for the upcoming colder months, fall and winter season. So this completes the detox face and hair recipes and also the steps to lock the moisture back into the hair. So you can keep the hair like this, let it air dry and then, you know, proceed on to styling. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here. Don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps out for me. Let me know that you like videos like this. All right. Don't forget to check out some of my previous videos. Don't forget to check out the Maybelline video here, the blushing nude palette that I use and also a series of help help my hair i won't be care five tips i offer you all all right guys don't forget to subscribe see you soon and bye